Balance seems to be an overriding theme in my life. Uh, balance has been part of my life, I think, since I was young. It's about relationships. There's always uh, moments of compromise. There's moments of change. There's moments of staying exactly where we're at and not moving and creating a balance between line and color and shape and space really is what the work is about. There's, there's always so many negotiations that go on during the process and a student once said to me, you know, do you talk to your work? And I said, well, yeah, of course I talk to my work. And in a sense, I do. Sometimes I actually do, but there really is a, a negotiation because a glass can be such a hard and unforgiving material. It can be a very fragile material. It can also be a very soft and warm material. And it's a matter of telling the glass, look it, I gotta soften you up. I need to sandblast, I need to texture, I need to put just this finish on it. Uh, you have to heat it to make it one, but do I wanna heat it a lot? Do I want to heat it a little? It's always a negotiation between the idea, between the material, uh, the heat, gravity, uh, and of course me. I think I tend to see more abstractly. I see, when I look at an image, I really see, I see light and I see space and I tend to reduce what I see into areas of varying light and, and space. And that's what I really take to, to the drawing table. I'll usually take a piece and I'll draw it once and then take that piece and draw it 10 times, 20 times. And what I find for me is that it keeps reducing until finally I say yes. That's it, it feels right. My eye is seeing what I really wanted it to see and I'm feeling what I wanted to feel with this. I like my work to have a more painterly look. When you look at the stripes in the work, they're never straight, they're always wavy. They've been textured and for me, it presents more of a, a painterly look. Also, when I, when I cut the glass, I cut the glass unevenly so that it will melt unevenly, and that's something that I have no control of, and it allows the material to have a voice in the work, and I think, that's, I think it's very important. The reflection of the piece, for me, is actually part of the piece and completes it. It fills the space, sometimes expands beyond the space that the piece takes up and it's a very exciting part of the piece for me. I like being engaged with my work. I would like the viewer to be engaged with the work, to see something uh, in the work that makes them just maybe stop for a second or smile or question something. I don't feel that, that my work is important enough that I have to make a statement. We can't take these objects so seriously. And I think there, that there's a lot of things that happen in this world that are things that we, we need to be aware of uh, and worry about. And I'm hoping that that little glimpse of my piece is just that moment away. It's, it's the beauty, it's the humor, it's just the, the momentary escape from those things that are really important.